Hello and welcome guys, my name is Frank, musician, photographer here in the Midwest and if you saw my previous video I showed you my rig. So in today's video we're going to take a much deeper dive into the system. So I already explained to you how this works. Uh, so basically you want to line up your lens, you want to make sure that it's uh, oval is up and down and then you're going to bring it into the lens. So. Uh, if you saw my previous video, I explained to you exactly what the pieces are. So you're going to bring it into the anamorphic lens like this with the clamp. And you're going to tighten it up. All right, so we're going to dive right in. And this is going to be a, an in-depth look. We're actually going to go into the settings of the camera. So here's the rig one more time. Uh, if you haven't seen my other video, I'm going to put a card right here. Uh, you can click on that and you can go check that out right now. And then uh, we're going to dive right in. We're going to turn on the camera. And then we're going to take you into the menu system. Oh, and by the way, let me also mention before I go into that, uh, this is a double focusing system. So you have to focus here first, right? You get that your focus correct in the lens right here. And then you're going to do a second focus here and you're going to get your, your right focus. So. Okay guys, so let me take you into the menu system and uh, let's go do that right now. Follow along as it's gonna be deep and then I'm also gonna show you what the footage looks like and then also how you would edit that footage. All right, let's go. Okay, here we are. Now we're inside the menu system of the Panasonic GH2 and I'm gonna go over step by step of what my settings are. Now I'm still learning quite a lot of it so you may have different settings or other people will have different settings but so far these are mine and for the footage i'm about to show you this is exactly how it's set up so we are going to start from the beginning so in order for the lens the anamorphic lens to work on the camera now you're, you're already seeing my setup okay so here we go we're going to go down we're at the very start and we're going to go into the custom menu all right, because your camera will not recognize the lens if you don't set this. So we're in the custom menu, and then we're going to go to number eight. All right, and you see the third one, shoot without a lens. I'm going to make sure that that's turned on. All right, got to make sure that's turned on. Uh, screen just went blank because it's just telling me that it's on. So I want to make sure that that's turned on. All right, the next setting that we're going to go to, we're going to go back up to the top. And what I use is manual movie mode. All right, so we set that. All right, so every time I press it, it's just going to go to the screen because it thinks that I'm ready to start uh, recording. But we're, we're in manual movie mode, and then we're going to go down to the second one, and we're going to go down to film mode. And we're going to scroll over, and then this is what I choose. I choose cinema. All right, so everything is set to zero. The contrast, the sharpness saturation and then noise reduction everything it says zero uh, let's go down here and then recording quality for the Panasonic GH2 is FSH and this will allow you to shoot at the highest bitrate that is capable for the GH2 which is 17 megabits per second I know it's not that great because of the modern cameras are way better than that but that's what we get so you're gonna set it to F SH, you're gonna click on that and make sure that that's set. And usually exposure more, I set it to manual so I can control the exposure. And here's a bonus tip. Uh, you wanna have your mic level display on. So when I record bands, uh, right now, since I'm recording a tutorial, I have the mic level set up to four, but say that you wanted to record bands, uh, live concert stuff or any uh, noisy situation, bring it down to that right there, one. And then you can record some bands and then bring it back up and post. But anyway, that's just a bonus tip for you guys right there. Uh, recording highlights are off. Okay, so that is basically my setup. Uh, there's a bunch of other settings here, but I don't use any of these as far as like this tutorial. Uh, we can get into those on another tutorial, but so far, that's exactly what I use. So just to recap, to make sure that you can use the lens, you want to make sure that it shoot without a lens is on. Then 
you're gonna go up here to the film mode cinema make sure that cinema recording quality is FSH all right so let's move on to the next step which is the footage and how it looks like when you record it with the anamorphic lens and then I'm gonna dive into the program and show you how I de squeeze it and bring it back in post all right let's go how do we fix it all right so for this demonstration now you can use all kinds of different video editing programs but the one I'm going to show you right now is a Sony Vegas Pro 13 okay so here we are it's a fresh new project so the first thing we're going to do in order to bring in your Panasonic GH2 footage with the anamorphic look we're going to go to file and we're going to start with new okay so now do we have a new file to start with we're gonna go up here and uh, I already saved a template but if you're starting from scratch you want to go to custom right so I already have mine set up to the custom frame here 1920 by 817 24 frames per second so that's my custom setting right now all right so what we want to do if you were starting from scratch now the footage that you're taking with the Panasonic GH2 is automatically 1920 by 1080 with the settings that I showed you and it's at 24 frames per second using the film mode so it's already at that but we filmed it with the anamorphic lens so what we want to simply do is we want to change the height so we're going to come down here to height and then we're going to switch it to 817 okay so we got 817 and you see how that changed to custom now and the next thing we want to do is we're going to go here to frame rate and we want to switch that to film so 24 right and then you're going to leave all this the same uh, 8 bit full resolution good caution you're gonna leave all that the same you're just gonna pick what you know location you want to save your rendering files to but that's all you're gonna do right so once you click OK you're gonna see the canvas frame you're gonna see a change see how that changed so now your canvas is gonna be the cinematic aspect ratio now there's a bunch of different ones and uh, you can look at different tutorials but for this demonstration this is what I'm showing you right now 1920 by 817 24 frames per second okay so you see how that changed now let's bring in our footage and I'll show you how to work on that right now so we're gonna go to import we're gonna go to import media now I already have my anamorphic files here so I know which one I want to bring in so let's bring that in we're gonna open it now you see it's gonna come up here on this window and the next thing you want to do is you want to bring it down into your timeline all right and it's, here's gonna ask you in this box do you want to set your project video settings to match this media and what you want to do here is you want to say no all right so now that you said no now look how it looks so you still got all the space on the left and the right so what we want to do is we want to work on bringing this into the space so we're gonna make it the right size so in order to do this it's quite simple uh, but if you don't know it, it's kind of frustrating so you see the square right here this is the event crop square you want to click on that so let's click on that and then it's going to show you another window so look like, all right so now you open up pan crop it's really easy to make the footage fit so what you want to do is you want to go down to where it says source and where it says maintain aspect ratio you want to change that to no and then where it says stretch to fill you want to change that to no as well once you have done that now we're going to click off the window your footage is going to be stretched to the right proportions you see that now it all fits it's all fitting perfectly 
and then you're ready to go. You can do your edits and your cuts the way you need to. Now, the other important part of this tutorial is how to render it out. So you're gonna render it out in much the similar fashion as you created it. All right, so the next step here is to go to render as. Okay, so here to output the file, what we wanna do is we wanna go to main concept AVC slash AAC, MP4 AVC, right? And we're gonna do internet HD. So let's click on that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize the template. All right, All right so here is your customizable template. So as you can see, internet HD 1080p uh, is not set to the proper ratio. So if you output this, your, your footage will just come out, but it'll have the black bars and the bars. So in, in order for you to get the full aspect ratio so it shows up correctly on YouTube, what you wanna do is you wanna go into, you know, go down here, and you wanna go into custom frame size, right? And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna enter the same number here, eight, one, seven, as your canvas, right? Uh, and you're gonna go into 24 frames per second for film, right? Uh, you wanna unclick allow source to adjust frame rate. This is just how I do it. Uh, you can mess around with these, but I would just leave them as they are. And as you can see, now we have our template that is correct. And we go into the custom template. If we go back in and look at it, uh, you can see that it is the right dimensions for the output. Okay, so that's it. And all you're gonna do is you wanna go down here, hit uh, render as. Let's uh, open up that window here. Okay, so now that you customize your template, you're gonna see it right here. So Internet HD 1080p. And when you go back in, it should be the right dimensions. And all you're gonna do next to finish, you're gonna hit render. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Let me, do, let me know if you have another way of doing this. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you. And as you can see, you can see the sample footage. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can actually see the video and the way it looks. It's without the black bars. It's the way it's supposed to look. And um, yeah, really happy to help you guys out. Uh, let me know what your thoughts. Let me know if this is useful in any kind of way. Hope you learned something or if you have a better way of doing it, a uh, faster way uh, I'm willing to learn and I want to hear from you. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.